yo guys welcome back to another video in today's video we're sitting on the transfer market because we're going to be talking about the easiest way to make coins if you're a noob trader if you just don't trade a lot and you don't really know how to make coins this video might be coming a bit late but there's always people looking out to make coins and especially now that the game is really really dying for gameplay and people still want to make coins because people just love making good teams to play with and people love having big amount of coins we're going to be talking about the easiest way to get yourself some coins um, so these are not very advanced methods of trading, but they're not going to make you a lot of coins in general. But if you grind them out a bit and you know what you're doing, these will be very, very easy. This video is mainly aimed at people that just don't know how to trade very well. I have not a lot of market knowledge. None of these trading methods require market knowledge, but getting some market knowledge in general is always helpful when you're trading. We will be making more trading videos in the future. And they're going to be a bit more advanced, better trading methods. But for now, we're doing this. Now, first method, we're going to jump straight into it. It's the 350 bit method. Um, and you do, I only do this with major leagues. You can do them with certain positions. We're actually going to set this to 300 for the Prem because the Prem is always a bit harder. But the most you want to be bidding for these players is 350. Um, so we're going to bid on a bunch of them. And then we're just going to sell them on for whatever they were. That might only be 400 coins. Um, every Premier League player will eventually sell for 400 coins. Guaranteed. Uh, even if it's at the end of the hour. But you will make profit on these. And sometimes you will get lucky and get yourself a player that's worth like 5, 6, 700 coins. Um, when you make a bit more. This is a very low profit method. But also a very low budget method. So if you're just sitting on a couple coins. You have nothing to do. Just load up the transfer market. Set it to 300 coins. For the Prem. Or the League Un. I would recommend staying away for Serie A. Because Serie A just doesn't seem to be very effective. I'm going to try to get to the, towards the end of this page. See other people are even doing this. As you can see. And we're probably going to win most of them. League Un is a very good one. Because they've got the League SBC. So most of them sell for free. Uh, for 400 or more. You can see it also. Um, with the Prem, they loaded in with only like 30 seconds left. These all of our, all of these are over a minute. Um, so you can have to wait a bit for your bits to come in. But in the meanwhile, you can like, I don't know, play a game. Or do have what you want to do on the game. Or just have a cup of coffee. I don't know. Whatever you want to do. Um, but you can just step away from the game or from the market for a bit after you've placed your bits. Uh, and this is a very low risk method because you can, at most lose out on tax because you can always sell these for 350 um, if they're 75 rated if they're over 75 rated um, which they can't be at the moment because we have set the minimum bid to 300 um, to get over 75 rated so you need to put it at 350 that's why in the other leagues you can put it to 350 and here we can bid 350 um, but the problem with this is you will see a lot of 350 bids already placed because you're looking for a 350 max bid um, so you have to search a bit longer, but generally speaking, you should be fine. Um, these are all the cards I've been on myself, yes. Go to the next page. If you want to get a couple examples in there from the, my trade pile towards the end of the video. So he's already been at 350. I think I bid it on those. I don't know why I have a feeling, but I feel like that. And um, we'll take him. As you can see, that's a bit better. Uh, also, way more popping up on the market because you're searching at 350, so you're not only looking for 75 rated cards. That's why you want to put it at 750 or 350, and not just 300. In the Prem, it just works a bit better because the Prem is the one that's been done the most. Um, for the bonus league, it work, works really well if you can get the bids in, uh, because they have a league SBC as well. Uh, which is very popular because it gives out great packs uh, and some great players. Now, as you can see, it's actually pretty hard to get your bids in. So we'll skip out on the Bundesliga because for now it's a bit too hard. Now I'm recording this at 3 p.m. No, 2 p.m. UK time. The market is a bit slow. There's not much pack supply. People are still doing Ganapuri. But generally speaking, this is not one of the peak times in the game. Um, which of course 6 p.m. UK time But let's move on to the next method We'll get back to that method in a second When those bits have come true But in the meanwhile we can go and look at some snipes 
Um, that's going to be the next method. Sniping is very, very easy. Um, but I still want to put it in here because it's just the easiest method to make coins. Um, without having any market knowledge. You just need to know a filter. So for example, French right back works if you have a low budget. I'm going to try to get a few example snipes. So all French right backs sell for 600 coins. You go at 500. You only make 100, car, uh, 100 coins per card. Now he will actually sell for a bit more, I think. I actually have him in the club, funnily enough. I'm just going to list him for 650, see if he sells. If he doesn't sell, he would have sold for 600. Him, I know he only sells for 600. So will list him like that. But that's already like 200 coins made right there. That's the same one. Um, so you can see for fields like this, this is a very useful one. Just because... They're non-rare golds that are very cheap. They pop up a lot. But you have that little bit of potential to get profit out of them. If they were like 500 coins, it wouldn't work. Because then you have to drop it down to 400 coins. Uh, that would actually still work. If they were 450 coins, it wouldn't work. Because you could only go down to... I'm actually going to list for 600. I think it might be 600 with the amount of times he's popping up. I'm also saying, yeah, if you're 450, it won't work. Because you can at best drop down to 400 coins. Get yeah, one for 650, I think he's sold, so he should sell pretty quickly. And Gilbert should sell pretty quickly as well, because they're both Prem as well. As you can see, these all sold. Um, And he... He would lazy sell for like 500 coins, guaranteed. We're just gonna load him up at 450. He might not insta sell, it might take the entire hour for him to sell, but you will make coins. Um, Let's just do all of these at once. Now, most of these will only be 400 coins, most likely. Now, he's League Un. League Un might be a little bit of a different story. He won't be much more than 450, so let's do 450. And once again, that's only 100 coins profit on these. Um, not a big profit margin, but once again, if you want bigger profits, you need to learn a little bit about the market. I'm literally giving you the easiest of trading methods. Right here, I'm going to list these for 400. You might lose, if you list them for 400, you might lose out on tax, of course, if they only sell on the 350 bit. But generally speaking, they should insta-sell. We're going to list him for 400. Uh, he should sell. He's a Premier League strike. If he doesn't sell for 400, that's crazy. Premier League players in general should just sell for 400 coins. Which I know they do as well. All Premier League players sell for 400 coins minimum. Uh, strikers especially aren't that expensive. So he is not going to be more than 400 coins. I believe CDMs are really cheap as well. I believe they're only 400 coins too. So I don't think we've got any great examples right here that are like 700 coins that we just got lucky. For that, you need to spend more time and just do it more often and eventually you will get a couple here and there. But all in all, this is just a very quick profit. Like, this is very low effort as well. And yes, you only make a couple hundred coins. Once again, this is a pretty low budget method. Or if you just don't know what else to do, you could just do this. I do this every now and then because I actually enjoy doing this for some reason. Uh, don't ask me why. I'm going to list all of these for 400 coins. Um, just because I am knowing, I don't want to bore you guys with checking the player price pretty much. All video. Price, he's only 400 coins being a Frenchman. But I know he is only 400 coins. And these league gun plays might actually be a bit more because once again league gun has a league SBC. But just for the example of the video, we'll list everything up for 400 coins. Uh, him as well. He's a goalkeeper from the Prem. And no matter what league they're from, he's a goalkeeper, so he doesn't sell. As you can see, some of those got a bit. I actually sold 13 items. Those must be the players. Yeah, there you go. Uh, also, Freeza Gilbert hasn't sold. We already sold the other CD eBay. But some of those insta sold, so they could have literally been listed for 450. And it would have still worked. But you can see we made profit right there. Um, back to the sniping filters. The more expensive one, an example is if you go to the Bundesliga and you go to left mid. And then to Bayern München. They are about 6.6k I believe right now. Um, I literally just did a snipe. Yep. Oh, they're up to, wow, they were 6.7 a second ago, 100%. Anyways, I would, um, if they're 6k, no, sorry, they're 6.7. You look up at 6k and instantly we get one. But we don't manage to buy him. I just got a snipe off stream. Or off, off recording. Um, testing if this was a good filter. Because I don't snipe that much anymore. Uh, I used to do it a lot. Because it's so easy. It's so low effort. You don't need market knowledge. You just need to know uh, how expensive a player is. Basically go with 
your own filters. Very easy filters are like Bundesliga and then some expensive positions for players that are like 1400. Or if a SBC comes out with players that boom up to like 5k that are normally like 700 coins. That can be very effective as well. Um, right now there isn't much out that is like super inflated. That is usually selling for absolutely nothing and you will get kicked out of the market every now and then. Which is quite annoying. But uh, that's the way it's got to be. Because that's how EA regulate their market and their game. But what was the saying? Yeah. If there is a player inflated due to an SBC, check FUB bin. If someone is in a FUB bin solution, that's usually 7 coins. And if he's in a top solution for a, fr a new SBC, very often they will go up to like 3k, 4k, sometimes even 5k. They sold more of those 400 coin parts. And if they go up to 5k, people will still be listing them for 3k because they don't believe that they're 5k because they shouldn't be 5k. Because there's very likely another play you can use for the SBC. But list them for 3k, very very often you can buy them. There will be a bit more competition on those filters. But um, they will pop a lot as well because when that SBC is out, very likely there's also more pack supply. Anyways, uh, another filter, I'll give you one more. If we go to Bundesliga, again, and we go to Dortmund, we go to Mifuga, this is a bit lower priced. Now you can decide if you want to sell to lazy buyers, what that means is you pretty much put them up a couple of coins for people that are searched as follows. They just do this, no price filter, you can see, um, they would probably be... Buying something that's 2k if they're looking for a midfielder because nothing pops up 2k. Now this is a bit of a broad filter. You need to look for the player specific. But hopefully you get what I mean. Anyways, there are about 1200 coins. So that would have been a snipe. Now sniping doesn't necessarily mean you hold on to players. If a player is a snipe, you insta sell them most of the time. You can snipe players if that you want to invest in to get them even cheaper, but... Generally speaking, if you're sniping, you're not going to hold on to these cards. So I'm going to try and get these at like 850, I think. And I sell them on the 1200. That's what I would do if I were to use this filter. This isn't the greatest filter, although there's quite a couple cards on offer right here. Because you can also get the left mids and right mids. I believe sell for a little bit more, not a lot more, which is great. Because that puts more players into this filter that are very likely to pop up. But this is also quite a heavily contested uh, filter because lots of people are still doing the Bundesliga, League SBC. Purely for the packs and uh, I believe Dortmund gives out a mega pack or maybe a rare Electrum players pack. Something like that. Or at least a very decent pack. Uh, maybe a premium gold players pack. I think the mega pack is actually Dortmund. Not Dortmund, Bayern München. Maybe there's something else but... You will generally get quite a bit of competition on these kind of filters. And as you can see, not a lot popping up once again. Market is a bit slow today. Uh, because there's not much pack supply at the moment. Bayern, or no, not Bayern Munich. The Gnabry player of the month that got released yesterday. Does not give out a lot of coins. Now before we head into the third method. Because um, I'm not going to get an example so I'm pretty Because it's going to take too much time. We will try, or I'm going to, Jesus. And inform me about my Twitch channel where I will be live as soon as this video goes live. Um, so check out my Twitch, Twitch TV slash Twister 0301. Now we're pretty much going to be doing more trading, probably also some gameplay. I, I like playing draft. Draft's another way, a great way of making coins. If you're good at the game, play draft. Don't play any other game mode uh, unless you really want to. Um, because there's just not value for money to play, even we can leak at the moment, there's no value for money to be playing. Value for time, not value for money. Anyways, last method. Gonna go into consumables. And we're gonna go into campstyle trading. Campstyle trading is very easy. I'm actually gonna give you guys a fourth method. Um, let's say, and this is more of a long term method. I'll do the, on the, I'll try to get a bit quicker through these, because I'm stumbling a lot of words. Uh, I haven't really prepared this video. So right now anchors are really expensive. Anchors might not be the best example because um, shadow campsites are extinct. Which means anchor campsites are just going up because people can't buy their shadows. Deadeye for example. 
Now, this is a very well-known trading method, and that has actually back up a bit again. There used to be seven, eight hundred coins. You can snipe these as well, and then hold on to them because it's as it says a long-term trading method. But you can even buy these at one k. Now, I'm not going to do that because I think it's a bit high. But when a player comes out, especially an SBC that has great pace and great dribbling, so let's say Hazaka play every month. He's got great pace and great dribbling. The stats you want to be boosting that kind of card is that shooting and that passing. So that is going to go through the roof, if, especially if it's cheap SBC um, or good value for money SBC for a player like that. Doesn't need to be in Hazard, could also be an 82 rated player. That's just messed up because he's great value. People are going to buy their camp stuff for him because they need. They think that the camp stuff is the best. People are just going to buy it, they're not going to be like, oh, the camp stuff has gone up to 2k right now. I'm not going to buy it and wait until it goes down because people on this game, generally speaking, don't think like that. They're not that quote unquote, quote unquote, quote unquote smart. Uh, they just buy what they want at that time, they don't wait. They're, not patient enough, pretty much. And that's not me bashing the general foot player. But what happens, they go up to 1.6k when a player like that gets released. You've bought loads of these when it wasn't a relevant item to buy at like 800 coins. All of a sudden you've doubled your coins. This is, the more coins you have, the easier this is because you can buy more. Because you can buy unlimited cam styles. You can have literally 5,000 of these in your club if you wanted to. Uh, so that's a great camp style. To do that, finisher, barely anyone uses, so it's not great. Let's see what snipers are at. If snipers are really cheap, I'll buy them um, for you guys, and then we'll explain why. I'll actually buy that. Because that's already quite cheap. So you can buy, start buying loads of these, for example, at 450. Because they are, seem to be popping up. Jesus. I hate, this man I hate these menus, man. They're so laggy. What are they actually at? Are those, like, actually profitable snipes? Yes, they are. The 600 is already a little bit inflated. It might not be the greatest price to buy at. But let's just say I have those two for 450. Um, They probably went up for Ganabri to, like, eight 900 coins yesterday. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. Now, it's a shame if I've been to track these. Um, because that would be great because I could have checked, but when a player like Ganabri gets released, that card will definitely go up. That, that's just one example. This even works with Catalyst. Now, I believe even Catalyst are going through the roof right now because Shadows and all that are extinct. If they're like close to 3k, Creeper at 4k might be a buy. I believe they were 4k at some point. Hunters, of course, are extinct. Anchors, we talked about, are really expensive at the moment. Sentinels work. Uh, lots of people are using Sentinels right now for their fast fullbacks. Um, bit of a weird one because you need the play to be released to be a very fast one. And that doesn't happen very often that they're already at the perfect pace. Most of the time that only happens on fullbacks. And fullbacks don't get loads of SBCs because it's not a very popular position. Engine is a good one because um, it goes on midfielders and attackers. We have the right stat. Those are never there anymore. How do, why do those even pop up? What are engines at? If they're the, like eight, seven, eight hundred coins, they're inflated. Is engine good camp stuff for Gnabry or something? Or have I, I haven't checked these for a long time, I have to be honest. Right now I'm mainly using silver to trade with. And special cards. Uh, Maestro, not a good one. I said I would get through this a bit quicker, but I want to show you pretty much all of these. I should might actually not be a great one. If it's 200 coins. Can't go wrong on 200 coins, it looks like it. If they release a cam SBC with like great pace. Might go to like six, seven hundred coins, you never know. Maybe not six, seven hundred because they seem to be very common, but... Generally speaking, they should go quite expensive. Hawk is another good one. Hawks, they sell for like 1.4k at the moment. They're they're way up. This is inflated for a Hawk. Hawk's not a very popular game style because the physical boost is very minimal and very irrelevant on this game. But anyway, that's that trading method. Now, the last trading method is, again, actually a sniping method. But it's a little bit of an extra on the sniping method. Um, I do this a lot with Trent because Trent is a popular player. 
with not too much pace, so what lots of people wanted him with a shadow. I couldn't find the right word there. Lots of people are going to be willing to buy him with a shadow. But just look up his sh shadow cam stop price. He's about 10k right now with a shadow, which is very cheap. He also getting bought a lot again. It's a Tuesday. Don't, not a lot of people buying on the Tuesday. I would sell him for like 9k. No, 9.8k, something like that. I would like to shit in K under. And you just go sniping. Now, this works best when people are selling off their teams. Because then a lot of this will pop up. Now, Trent is getting less and less used because people are not considering him meta anymore. The reason why he still gets used is because he's Liverpool and just offers great links to Wijnaldum, Salah, um, Van Dijk, of course, Fabinho. Those kind of players, even Firmino, if you convert him down to CM. And he's just a popular player in general. But what's his normal price? Now, he should pop up within a shadow at this price. But right now, people are not selling on the team. But that's another trading method very quickly out there. Um, you kind of have to understand what players sell for with a shadow and all that. Um, pretty much, you need to be able to snipe them for more expensive than what they are. Um, selling on because if you look for a player that's like 2k with a shadow but is 1.8k without a shadow sniping them at 1.5 is still going to be a bit harder because obviously a lot of less people are going to be listing him for 1.5 if that's already his cheapest if that makes any sense hope you guys enjoyed though make sure to check out my twitch because we're going to be training over there i'm going to be m releasing more training videos more constructive <laughs> and more advanced trading methods uh, on the channel in the next few weeks. Um, so hopefully that's going to work out. And we're also tweeting a lot about what we think about the market. And all that. So do check out my Twitter as well. I will be giving loads of trading tips over there. Anyways that's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did drop a like. Do please subscribe for more content if you enjoyed. And I will see you in the next video.